Hello everyone, sorry I didn't mean to move the camera. So, we're doing a little night late. I'm just letting you guys know. First things first, alright, let's just get this out of the way. If you have the audacity to ask me to curse somebody's um, spouse or their pet or their children in order to get them to be with you, your name automatically goes in a jar. Because that's fucked. You know, like, you know, I, 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 like, my morals are wavering, right? But even I know, you know, not to involve people who have no idea what the fuck is going on. You know, don't come to me asking me to do specific things for you. That involves harming people who have no idea you even fucking exist. Um, because I already put three of you in a fucking jar. And honestly, I'm really insulted that you all think that, like, my services are so cheap. Like, I almost got a thousand dollars out of somebody, actually. Um, your name's in a fucking jar. I don't even want your money. It's dirty. No, no, no. Mmm. I just have to make that well known. Because I don't appreciate that, you know? Like, you don't, don't ask me. Like, I'll curse people. I don't, I, I like, literally don't give a fuck. Like, it's not going to bother me in, this, in the first place, you know? I'm good with negative energy. That's what I thrive on anyway. Um, but if you ask me to curse somebody who has no idea what the fuck you're even doing, like, your name's going in a jar. We don't fuck with pets. We don't fuck with kids. I am not about that lifestyle. You know, like yeah, like if I could get to you, I just beat your ass, but I can't. So you know. Anyway, everybody else who isn't a fucking psycho, because I'm just gonna put that out there. We're doing a rando, as always. Newcomers, returning visitors, fellow practitioners, and weirdos alike, and those in between. This is gonna be all signs reading. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. You just boop your nose and away it goes. Right? Right. Ah, uh, It's been a hell of a day. I actually got pulled over from work. Like, right after fucking work. And it was like, this cop like waited. And it was a new fucking cop too. Like, the young ones, right, who don't know better. And this dude... Because I'm going to talk about my day. Fuck it. We're, we're going down that route today since we're already going to be hostile and shit, right? You know, this dude, like, kept asking me to search my car because he thought I had drugs. And I'm just like, I'm literally in my scrubs. I have my name badge on. You could tell I just got off from work, right? Like, I look tired. Like, I had been at work for, like, hours, and I was just like, dude, I just want to go home and, and fix. And the only reason he pulled me over is because, like, my my Honda is really fucking old and if you leave the lights on the battery dies if you turn the lights on before you turn the car on it dies and then like you have to switch a whole other fuse I literally bought like a 50 box fuse just for that scenario because I didn't want to deal with it and like dude sees me fucking um driving down the road and he can't get to me because there are a bunch of cars in line with me. So he turns his lights on just to get me. And I'm just like, are you fucking serious? It, like, you can literally tell that, like, it's my fuse. It's not my fucking car. Or, or I don't have my lights on, right? But, you know, they're cops, so they have to do their job. This dude gets out of his car, shines his lights in my fucking face. And is just like, do you have any drugs in the car? And I'm like, no. I just got off work. Like... If I was at home, there might be a different story. But I don't do drugs. So, that's important, right? And this motherfucker keeps asking me to search my fucking car, even after I tell him no. He's just like, oh, you don't have any marijuana in the car? No, but I need some now after dealing with you, motherfucker. Thank you very much. Like, can I go home now? He's just like, well, can I get your license, registration, insurance? And I'm like, yes. Whatever hurries the process up. And that motherfucker sat there and ran my fucking license and everything. I knew. Because he's new. And, like, you can tell an old cop from a new cop. Because a new cop will look for any fucking reason. An old cop will know better. Just from, like, uh, paying attention to how the driver acts, right? And for me, automatically, if you look like you're at least, like, 20 to 25, I'm going to treat you like you're a fucking millennial. I'm going to be that boomer. You could go, okay, you boomer to me all you want. It doesn't matter. Like, 
I'm gonna be that person, right? Oh, also, someone is, 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 someone's talking shit, but they ain't doing nothing. That's your card, y'all. So that's who we're looking at today. It just mad. It, it made me mad because it was like he kept asking me, you know, if I had drugs in my car, and I'm like, no. Is it because I'm black? And he was like, oh no, 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 no. That's not the reason. And I'm like, that's totally the reason. And then like he was just like, you know, you said no really quick, and I was like, because I know how to say fucking no. I'm like you, you never had a woman say no to you before, Mr. Officer. <laughs> Like, I was so mad. It was just like, I just wanted to go home. Oh, we got the justice card. Mm. Like, I don't know. I just like telling you guys about my day. And then the three of cups reverse. Thoughts and feelings. Temperance. And the root of that is the ten of wands. But then we got the five of swords. Not five of swords. Five of wands reverse up here. Mm. I don't know. That shit just made me really upset, y'all. It was just like, like, it wasn't even the fact that he asked me. He asked me five times to search my car, and I told him no. And then after the fifth time, I was like, he was like, you're really quick to say no to somebody if you don't have drugs in your car. And I was like, I don't have to let you search my fucking car. All you're going to find is water bottles and old cigarette packs. Why, why do you want to look at my car? I even asked him why you want to look at my car. And his response was, you know, uh. Oh, well, suspicious activity. And I was like, what? Driving down the fucking road? And he was like, well, you don't have your lights on. And I was like, because a fuse blew in my fucking car before I left work. And I have to go to Advanced Auto to get a new fuse. And he was like, oh, well, that's a really quick answer. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of hard for me to make some fucking shit up once I know what the fuck I'm doing, doesn't it? Like, you're really not good at being a cop if you're going to fucking sit there and try to trap me with some ignorant shit like that. Ugh. Like, that's annoying. Like, I love cops that are seasoned. I do not like cops that don't know what the fuck they're doing and they're just trying to fill a fucking quota. You know? My husband, I even told him about it. He's just like, there's a lot of young cops around anymore. It's like, I know. Ugh. Six of Pentacles and the Judgment Reverse. I'm sorry I'm talking about my day, but it's like, ugh. That was just, that, that annoyed the fuck out of me. It's like, it's it, 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 like, you know, and he kept, even after he gave me my license, he was like, you're just not going to let me search your car. And I was like, no, I'm not going to let you search my car. I have shit to do. Like drinking and shit. Like, what the hell are you asking me <laughs> to search my fucking car for? Mm. Bitch, you're going to have to wait because I have people to deal with. Someone's ready to go, but they're definitely resting. You know? Definitely. Trying to, anyway. What? Oh my god, Stephanie. You're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> I have so many people who want to be my friends now, and it's like weird, because it's just like... Why do you want to be my friend? I'm a weird person. I talk to cards and trees and bark at the moon and shit, like fuck. Oh, definitely rest. Because somebody is definitely mentally tortured. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about my day. Because all I'm doing is bitching. And I'm not focusing on you guys. And you guys are the most important part of my day. Other than making sure my cords are nice and straight. Anyway. So, this is what we got so far, y'all. Someone's looking for justice because a third party situation did not work out the way they wanted to. They got patience. But... You're still dealing with the burden and the roots and the feelings. You know, mind you, the vibration is about rest, rejuvenation, taking care of oneself, right? However, there's a lot of conflict going on where no one's focusing on the goal, which is supposed to be about fairness because that is the most immediate obstacle. And the outcome is someone really isn't focusing on what they should. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. I just needed events about that because I'm so mad. Because it, it, it's just like, why are you going to keep asking me for drugs? Is it because I'm black? Is it because I drive a sports car? Is it because I smell good? You know, because smelling good usually indicates drugs. Because, you know, I used to do drugs a lot. A lot. 
but I don't do that anymore because, you know, I um had to grow up. Well, technically, it's because of my kids, but that's beside the point. If I hadn't had kids, it would have made a big difference. Then he might have been justified in asking about the fucking drugs. But not anymore. No, I'm in my 30s. My lower back is killing me. And I don't have time for that shit. Just let me be an alcoholic and die happy. You know. Mm. The vibration here with this person, y'all, is, um... They're kind of sad. Because I have to end this shit. End this shit up here. Let's see, justice. Someone needs to give up their fucking world and live in the real world. Because whatever dreams they originally had just did not work out for them. What? I am doing my card shit. I, like, it's weird having friends because they always want to talk to you. That's one thing I've noticed. Like, it's been three, four years since I've actually had friends. And I forgot what it's like to have human interaction, so it's just kind of like, what do you fuck do you want from me now? Oh, you just want to wish me good night? Well, that's sweet. It's weird too. Anyway, yeah, someone had to walk away from some shit because, like, whatever dream they created did not work out for them. All right, the three of cups reverse, right? And there's one on the floor. Oh. We got Becky and sh that bitch is bored. Someone had to give up their vices. This is a person who's walking away from shit. That's who this is. This is a person who's trying to... It's almost like a... What the fuck would you call it? AA! That's what this reminds me of. AA. Someone's walking away from what they're addicted to. You know. Becky's bored. She doesn't want to get to the very end, though. Like, however, what she is pairing up with is going to be something that lasts a very long time. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, someone's dealing with addiction. That's exactly what the fuck this is. It took me like two seconds to figure it out, actually. After I, I stopped talking about my shit day. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put my horrible day on you guys. I just needed a vent somewhere, and... Like I said, I'm not used to having friends. Someone's having a hard time expressing the truth. It's like they freak out. Could definitely be a Libra, also Aquarius or Gemini. They want to say something about why they walked away, but I don't think they can. They'd rather just go back from whence they came and, like, deal with things efficiently there. Yeah, this is somebody dealing with fucking addiction. Because they're running back to their daddy. And the people I know who have um, dealt with addiction, they always end up going back home because that's the safest place for them. Let's see. All these options that they had before them wasn't very good. In fact, it led them some of their worse. And now they're like, I am Olga. I'm going to make something out of my life while everybody else is in the background. Like, oh, yeah, sure. But this person's actually going to do something. They're going to get themselves out of the cold. Yeah, this person's dealing with an addiction of sorts. Which, you know, a person, if you're actually trying to fight this shit, kudos to you, man. Because, like, that shit's hard. Addiction is probably the hardest thing to ever beat because it's the one thing that makes you feel good when everything else makes you feel like shit. Disclaimer, I was addicted to heroin for a couple years and then I had to break that shit because it wasn't good for me. So I kind of get where you're coming from because that's a really hard thing to deal with. You know, if you, um, if you can uh, find a path to break that shit, man, I'm proud of you. Um, just take your fucking time because it's going to take time. Hey, kitten. Are you coming up here or you just want my attention? You just want my attention. Okay. All right. Thoughts and feelings, temperance reverse, the need for patience. Yeah. 
you might be feeling like you're in your feelings and you might feel like none of this shit is worth it. It's just like, this is just empty. It's not doing anything for me, you know? And then that makes you want to just fight fuckers all day. What do you want? Do you want up here? Come here. Get up on your mother's lap. Or get right where she's trying to do the cards and shit. That works too, dude. Yeah. Sorry, kitten's up here and she's trying to get my attention. Trying to. Not working too well, though. Alright, the roots of the sauce of the feelings is the burden, right? All this not doing nothing's leading to disaster. You feel like you don't have any control over any of this stuff? It's beyond you. Ah! And my cards fell. Yes, I know, kids. And... There's love, but you feel like you have to get away from the shit that you do love. Yeah, you're... This... Uh, uh, this... Spirit deals with addiction. A lot. It's like, I love this shit, but I have to go find something else to love me. Hmm. I can understand that completely. Oh, okay, phone. That's nice. Ah, uh, the, the vibration... It's going to take some time. People are going to try to come up while you're trying to recover to give you the things that you actually need. And you, queer it, possibly have to learn to um, accept that shit in order to take the leap of faith you need in order to get better. Which I think is not a bad idea at all. Do what you need to do, you know? Up here in the thoughts and feelings, it feels like you got stuck with some shit. Someone walked away and left you all alone. But in reality, like, they were a person who, um, was setting you up for failure. They acted like they were your savior. Leaving you like a thirsty bitch for whatever it is you were attracted to, Querent. Mind you, you could be Querent or you could be dealing with Querent. I don't know, because I'm not that smart. Anyway. Um, but yeah, it's like someone felt like someone walked away, but in reality, it, it was kind of like a trap. It's like, oh, I'm going to leave this person and then they're going to like want me more. You know, very dangerous, addictive shit. Hmm. I just do what's supposed, what's supposed to be a hero, but in reality, no. I don't know if that's somebody you're dealing with, Querent, or whatnot, or viewers, maybe you recognize this, but it's somebody who left another person thirsty in order to look like a good person, or they acted like they were thirsty in order to lure this person back in. Like, you know. I'm gonna leave this bitch and make her a thirsty bitch. That way she feels like I'm saving her instead of like her realizing that um, I'm setting her up for failure. Be very careful with that. The roots of the thoughts and feelings, all of this burden, all of this wanting to get away from something even though you love it. Someone really needs to look at their morality or read a book. Just be like, it's written right here, you know. Lord, we got a big ass book, y'all. Let's see. Yeah, someone got caught up in their bullshit, became very aggressive and went after everybody, but that didn't serve them very well. Then the high priestess came in being like, okay, I can see things for how they are. 
Um, you know, I need to learn to be gentle with my anger instead of just like whacking people with my stick. I gotta let go of the stick and hold my lizard. You know, um, might have a hard time letting kicking the habit, letting shit go. Might feel like people are fighting on your behalf, even though you have no idea what the fuck's going on. But you might be blind just because of the addiction, queer, right? And people are trying to save you or surrender you to the vices, right? You just want to fucking break from it all. It's just like, I just need a nap. That's it. You want to have a good time, but you know that good time's not going to lead to anything fruitful. And if it was fruitful, you would let it rot. Damn, dude. Like, for reals? You know? Yeah, it's like someone could teach you some shit. And, and, and what they teach you is how temptation works. Like, look at this. This is the devil. Um, these two people are, like, screwing right in front of some weird shit. And it's just like, are you really comfortable, like, having sex in front of, like, a bunch of weirdos? You know, that's like Requiem for a Dream, where those chicks went ass to ass. Just for heroin. That movie was messed up, by the way. If you've never watched that movie, you should. Because it'll really show you something about addiction. Like, the thing, like, I think that movie, it fucked me up the most when, like, Jared Leto, or Leto, or whatever his name is, like, you know, the dude who played Joker before, like, he decided he was too important to be in a band, right? Um, he watched, that character watched his mother do this whole chit-chatty thing with her teeth where she kept clicking it, like, like, I don't even hear the clicks, but she kept doing it. It was like the jitters. And he was like, Mom, you're addicted to something because you have the symptoms. You need to stop. And she didn't listen to her son. Because he knew what addiction looked like. And she ended up getting electroshock therapy. It was it, It's a really sad movie, but it's a good movie. It really shows you something about why you shouldn't do drugs, honestly. Queerant. Um, sorry, that was a oh, that was a low blow. My apologies. Anyway, um, s with this vibration, something didn't start, and you're looking at it objectively rather than letting your feelings overwhelm you with the Queen of Wa No, that's the Queen of Cups. That's the Queen of Cups. Never mind. You do want to go somewhere in order to try to work things out or whatever, but that requires you to let go of your shit and just go to fucking heaven, dude. Just just take up off there. Go. Be free. Like, then that's with the devil. That's not even with the vibration. It's like, you could be tempted to stay on this earthly plane, or you could try to move forward and realize shit for what it is. You know? And which is, you know, people are dragging you down from what makes you you. And that doesn't make you happy. Like, you can follow the word. Sure. You can follow whatever fucking word you want to do, but if it leads you to a point where you're lowering yourself and you're putting your body on display just for other people's happiness, um, you won't be happy with that. Like, you gotta, like, fucking find a way of getting away from that shit, dude. Like, people are literally preaching to you while expecting you to put your body on fucking display, and that does not make you happy. It does not fulfill your fucking soul. You know, like, I hate being religious, but sin is definitely a thing. And that's something that you're getting pulled into. Vibration! I'm not reading all those, that's way too many. And none of them turned, so... This vibration, right? Someone's trying to drag your ass through the fire acting like your mama. You know? Forcing you to relive a guilt that you do not deal with nor have. And you need to fight that shit off, man. It's like people will make you feel fucking guilty for not joining in with their shit when they know that you're trying to make yourself better. I don't know who you are, but I'm fucking rooting for you because I can see that there are people trying to, uh, I'm lighting my palo. Um, I can see that there are people trying to drag you into a bad situation. Like, you're trying to fix yourself and other people are making you feel bad for wanting to do so. 
which I don't particularly like. Here's my palo. It's not going to burn very well, but it burn a little bit. I don't like that shit, dude. I don't like the fact that you're trying to better yourself and you're surrounded by people who are trying to fuck you over. Get rid of those motherfucking people. Like, if you are trying to make yourself better, you make yourself fucking better. Fuck the rest. These motherfuckers are only going to be around as long as they feel like you're useful. You fix yourself and then you see who's with you. Because I feel like that's a big fucking deal. I only put two on this side, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the message is still the same. All right. What's coming up next for you? Five of Wands Reverse. Nobody's fighting for a good reason. You're trying to keep your guard up. Okay, cards. Whatever. You know. Uh, the people are keeping you trapped and making you feel like you're doing it to yourself. And you're really not putting up a fight of any sort because they have more passion than you. Yeah. You're trying to get away, but they keep trying to slink you to death. And you have to feel all like in, and out of, ah, in your emotions, but you can't really say anything. Because the King of Cups right here is in the dark. And I will let you know that a person who's trying to keep control over you is going to have a bunch of people like come against them too. And if I were you, I would get away from that fucking person, whoever it is, query, because they're going to try to drag you into it. You know? If you move towards these people, it's going to bring nothing but disaster, and you know this. And it's going to bring you to a point where it's like you have no idea what the fuck is going on. At all. Where it, like, you're trying to get better. I can feel that shit, you know? But it's people around you that are trying to keep you in the same place. And that's what I don't like. At all. God damn it, Bella. I said for you to burn. There we go. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like that shit at all. Like, queer it, whoever you are, you're trying to make yourself fucking better. And, like, people are trying to make you fucking bitter. And it's like, oh, let me beat their ass for you, dude, because I totally will. Like, if you want me to beat somebody's ass or just make them feel like horrible human beings, I am that person. I will totally be there for you to make someone else feel like an ass, right? So we got the Six of Pentacles right here, which is all about balance, but it's like this person's holding out on another person. Completely ignoring their intuition, knowing better. You know, being a Fannie Mae, all bitchy and shit, being like, oh, I'm not, I'm not paying attention to you, but you're definitely gonna like give me what the fuck I want. You know, a slow moving offer. Whoever is ignoring their intuition with you, Quirit, knowing that they're holding out on you, knowing that, like, they're holding shit over your head to keep you begging, they're waiting for you to come to them. That's an obstacle. Don't do that shit. Fuck them. Anyway, final result. Judgment reverse. Like, bad judgment call, right? There are people all over trying to figure you out or watch you carefully because they're not. Oh, shit. My bad. Oh, that is totally. How the fuck? Oh, my God. Hey, man. Okay. I totally like messed this up. Okay. Hold on. You go back to where you went to, wench. Lord, I just totally messed up my thing. If I could pause, that would be awesome, but I can't do that on a camcorder. Okay, so look at right. People are watching you, and that's because they're not fucking fair. Right? Because they know you have fucking potential. Whoever is surrounding you, queer, and they want control, and they want control to the point where you won't recognize what the fuck's gonna happen. We got the tower right here on top, right? You need to be fucking careful. Alright. Sorry about that cards, my bad. Alright, up top with what's coming up next. 
You're recognizing that none of this shit's good for you. And you want out. Because it's leaving you pretty feeling destitute. That didn't make any sense. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, dude, like, no. Wh whoever you are, Querent, you need to stop fucking with whoever it is you're fucking with. You're trying to fix yourself, and these people keep coming around, or maybe it's one person. I don't fucking know. I don't really care, because I don't like him anyway. It's like every time you try to do something for yourself, these people or this person comes in to fuck up your day, sitting there demanding shit from you and expecting a slow offer, but they aren't offering you anything at all back. That I don't like. You know, if you like, you're trying to fix yourself and these people aren't fucking helping. Obstacle, you're trying to work on shit, make things happen. Because you know what the right thing to do is. And the right thing to do is not give your goddamn time to any of these motherfuckers. I'm telling you that right now, Querent. You know? You're trying to fix your fucking life and people keep coming in trying to convince you that what you're doing is wrong or it won't work or any of that shit. And I'm telling you, if you're watching me, it's fucking working because these motherfuckers keep trying to keep you on their level. They cannot handle somebody who is above their goddamn level or on another level completely. They'll drag people down with them. Don't you be dragged down with them motherfuckers. Mmm. I'm dropping one more on that. Yeah, don't give your love to these bitches, because, like, look, it goes unfair. They're only trying to dangle shit in your fucking face to get you off your path. But if you work on your shit, you'll realize there was never any love. It was just a connection. Or what they could get from you. It could be money. It could be idolation. It could be... Affection doesn't really matter. Like, do they want you? No. Do they want what they can get from you? Yes. So fuck them. And the horse say right on. <laughs> All right, final result. They're not going to tell you the truth, man. They're not going to tell you the truth. Why? Because, like, they know that they can keep you lingering on and hanging on. They can come up to you and talk to you about any fucking conflict that might be bothering you. And they will keep you from starting something new. Parents, tell these people to go away. Okay. It's very off. It's not very often that I find somebody who I'm definitely on their side of, of trying to get better. You know, these people are not trying to make you better. You have to make yourself better. They will keep you in a fucking cycle. Until the very fucking end. To the last of their breath. Because they don't want to be alone. Okay? Like, it's very rare that I get really heartfelt in a fucking, um... Reading. But it's just like, dude. Like, I don't want you to fail. Querent, whoever you are, I do not want you to fail, and I don't want these people causing you to fail. You can do it. You can get away from this shit. Don't let these people convince you that you can't, because you can. not They just want you not to be able to, because they don't want to be alone. You have way more strength than what you're leading on to. You have way more potential than these people want you to know about. And I'm telling you, the minute you break this addiction or whatever it is you have with this connection with people, you will be beyond their touch. Don't let other people convince you that you are not powerful in whatever it is you do. That's my advice for you, Quirin. That's the only advice I have for you. Don't listen to motherfuckers. Like, fuck everybody. You know, if these people really gave a fuck about you, they would be helping you try to get out of this shit instead of trying to keep you into it. Okay? That's what I gotta say about that. Don't let anybody convince you that you're not fucking going to be able to do what they will not. Not cannot, but will not. 
You are much too important for that. Also, you're waking up, so, like, I have a thing to tell you, you know? Like, you, you, like you're about to wake up. This is not just some simple, like, reading. This is somebody who's waking up. They're awakened. Do not let other people convince you that it's not happening. They're wrong. I don't like giving advice, but I'll give advice to you. You can do it. That's the end of the reading, y'all. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. I, I'll appreciate it either way. The fact that you view is enough. Um, and if you are this queer, it, um, you know, if you ever need anybody to talk to you about whatever it is you're dealing with, I'm here. Because I have nothing else better to do and I don't have any friends. Other than, like, people who are trying to be my friends. And that's fucking awkward. Um, but I want you to know that, um, it is a hard road with getting away from addiction. But... Whatever it is. But you're good. I promise. You can do it. Anyway, I love y'all's faces. Don't be hoes or I'll kick your ass. I mean, you're going to be a hoe. Like, you, you can. I'm not going to, like, knock you. But don't be a hoe in the wrong way. Like, hoe your life away. Do whatever you want. But don't be fucking around. In the wrong ways. Anyway, love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.